So if you haven't figured out how important it is to title your document, that's how important it is because search engines pick up the, the title of your document, what you put in there. Now you can put up to 128 characters up there before you'll kind of be, uh, I don't want to say the word blacklisted, but potentially delisted from the search engine because if you copy and paste the entire Bible in there as an example, they're going to think, well, they're playing games. So what I typically do is start out by putting the name of your site, you know, whatever your site is, mysite.com. Followed by what you do. Now, each page should have its own unique title information. But to start out with the home page, that can have more generic information. So let's say as an example, we're in the wholesale coffee business. So I'm just going to type in there. If I can learn how to spell correctly, that would help. Wholesale coffee. Now, as a caveat, let's say not only do we sell wholesale coffee, but we offer free shipping. Not only do we offer free shipping, we offer free FedEx shipping. So let's say free Fed X shipping. And that's a good reason to do business with us. So that is in the title of the page. Now, before we do anything else, before we build the page, I just want to share with you the title of the page ends up in your browser, which eventually ends up in your search engine. So based on these choices, we're not connected. We're not talking about FTP right now. I'm just basically launching this page locally inside of a browser. So based on these choices, I'm going to go to File, and I'm just going to choose Firefox. Now, Dreamweaver enables you to pick many different browsers to use. I'm going to choose Firefox, and it's simply going to open up this page in Firefox. Now, obviously, the page has nothing on it, but it does have a title. The title is listed right here. So it's really cool. The title of your page right there is what's going to come up in a search engine document. Okay, now let's get started building the page. So the first thing we did, of course, was to find the site. Then we basically saved the file and we spent a little bit of time talking about how important it is to title the document. Now, don't be lazy, uh, guys and gals. Don't skip these steps because I guarantee you, I have so many students that come into their course, come into their class, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or you know, group training here in New York City, and it's like, oh yeah, I know that I, I just didn't do it. Well, let me tell you something. If you don't title your document now, you're going to make that mistake when you have a paying client and they're going to fire you because you're going to say, why did you not title my document? In fact, it's one of my pet peeves because I see a lot of other training videos, I won't mention any name, lynda.com, that they have untitled documents or untitled saved files. That's just bad habits. Why do you want to teach your students bad technique? The answer is you don't. So all you'll get from me is good technique, the same technique I use to build and make tons of money online. All right, now here's what we're going to do. I don't want to turn this into a typing class, so I have this free extension from adobe.com, and if I close my window right here, you will see if you have your welcome screen up, if you click right here, this will take you to the Adobe Exchange website. Now, the only thing you'll have to have is an Adobe account, and of course, those are free. So you'll have to log in for Adobe account. And what you want to do is when you come here, you want to type in the word lorem and more, and simply hit search. What that's going to do is come to this little free extension, which is a huge time saver. I can't tell you how much I use this. What this extension will do for you is put dummy text onto your page because if you're doing a mock-up for your client, and I'm not talking about the final version, I'm talking about the first go around, the second, the comps that you're going to build for your clients. You want to use Latin or Greek text. You want to use text that the client's not going to read. The client in the intro part of your composition and your versions for them should not be reading the text. They should be looking at the width, the height, the design, the color scheme, the graphic placements. You don't want them to read the website. So the advantage of using Greek or Latin text, since most people these days don't speak Latin, and only a small part of the world speaks Greek, you're, you're home free. So what you would do is download this to your computer. Make sure that Dreamweaver is physically quit, command Q, control quit. Double click the extension and it will self install for you. It's really very simple. And it's a great extension to have and it's absolutely free by going to the adobe.com website or clicking that little Dreamweaver exchange that I just shared with you a second ago. Now, I already have, of course, the extension installed. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, based on these choices, how would I insert something? Well, would I go to the format menu? Would I maybe I'll go to the help menu? Maybe I'll get Adobe Tech Support to share with me how to insert things into their program. Well, I do have an insert menu. Again, based on these choices, insert, and based on these choices, worm and more. 
Now this again, this extension's free and we're just simply gonna put on here five, actually I lied, let's do seven paragraphs of text. This way this doesn't turn into a typing class. Okay, now what I'm gonna do with these paragraphs is I'm simply going to hit the return key right here and make that a separate paragraph. And I'm gonna hit the return key right here and make that a separate paragraph. And I'm hit the return key right here. Now again, I'm gonna share with you how the software thinks. Very, very simple. We're gonna build a complete website and you're gonna see how to do that 100% for free. Again, the first series of videos will be on YouTube for free and then the rest of the course you can watch absolutely free on udemy.com by clicking the link on the bottom. Now, for those of you that are out there saying, oh, I've been working in Dreamweaver and this sounds really simple stuff, I can assure you that, you know, no disrespect, but I can assure you, I don't care if you've been working on Dreamweaver for five or six or 10 years. You're gonna learn a lot of things that you didn't know about the program in these very simple step-by-step -step videos. So I highly suggest that you watch everything that I share with you. Because my objective is to make this so simple, to stay away from the code and build very sophisticated websites. Now, in a nutshell, what does Dreamweaver do? Well, Dreamweaver does, and all Dreamweaver does, is write code. That's what it does, that's all it does. It writes HTML code. It also writes some JavaScript code and PHP code, et cetera, et cetera. But the objective through a WYSIWYG point and click environment, it will do the writing of the code for you. So there's really no reason in general, like 99% of the time not to ever go back here. But what I wanna share with you is how the program thinks and how HTML thinks and how it's written. So when I made a new document, it basically wrote all the information for me, minus, of course, the content that we just put in here through the insert extension. So here is my HTML5 document. Here's my opening HTML tag. What you'll hear a lot from me is the word tags. This is a tag inside the less than and greater than symbol. This is an opening HTML tag. This is a closing HTML tag. Therefore, everything about this HTML page is inside the HTML tag. Makes sense. Then I have the head section. Now, the head section of my HTML document is not really viewable. It's really the behind the scenes stuff. The only thing that technically is viewable is the title of the document, which is right here. Now, back in the day, before programs like Dreamweaver or Front Page or Adobe PageMail, you had to write this stuff from scratch. Now, do I know how to write code from scratch? Absolutely, because back in 94, 95, 93, that's what you had to do. But I've become so, you know, why not let the software, you have to understand something. The company spent multi-millions of dollars making your life simple by creating this amazing software. You need to get to know it. You need to get to squeeze the sponge on it. So here is the body tag, opening body tag, closing body tag, anything that you can visually see on the page, including QuickTime movies or flash files or graphics or text or JavaScript pulled up menus or jQuery animation is all done in the body tag. Then I have a paragraph tag, opening paragraph tag, closing paragraph tag. Now, Dreamweaver in its divine wisdom, when it basically inserted the text, it automatically surrounded it inside of a paragraph tag. Now, here is the little secret of Dreamweaver. Here's how Dreamweaver thinks. Again, it writes code for you. So what you need to do, you, the intelligent carbon-based being, need to talk to the silicone-based entity and tell it how to work. It's not going to work for you unless you know what you're doing. So wherever you put your cursor right here, this is gold. This is a very important roadmap down here. This is your tag selector tree. This is your tag selector roadmap. So if I put my cursor right here, this is going to tell me I have a paragraph. Now, if I want to select all the content in my document, I don't have to do this with my mouse or command A, select all. I simply have to select the body tag. Okay, pretty cool. So in our next video, we'll actually start formatting out the text and we'll write some CSS styles. But the whole objective here is to let the software work for you. Let Streamer do all the heavy lifting for you using my proven, simple, time-tested technique. My name is Robert Farrell. Thank you very much for being here. Again, you'll be able to watch the complete series of this 100% absolutely free. I know I keep saying that, but I really do mean absolutely free on udemy.com by clicking the link below in the description. Thank you for being here.